here we discuss the source free wave equations in wave propagation we are concerned with the behavior of the electromagnetic wave in a source free region so source free region means the sources are zero rho and j are zeros in the region where we are concerned so rho yum j yum zero ay kanya namukku ariyam electro electromagnetic fields um zero aayirikkum so nammal consider eyna region laan rho yum j yum zero and rho and j are there but in the region we are considering the rho and j are zeros electromagnetic waves originate in the point il rho yum j yum zero aayirikkilla but uh, we are not interested how when electromagnetic wave is originated but we are interested how the electromagnetic wave is propagating so propagate in the media then at the rho yum j yum that is sources is zero aayirikkum so originate in the point il aanu rho yum j yum undavu so whenever the wave is produced it travels with a particular velocity and uh, we are interested in the propagation of electromagnetic waves so in the propagating media there are no sources and uh, Uh, therefore we have uh, source free wave equations in the propagating media so rho and j are zero so we assume that the wave is in a symbol and non conducting media symbol and non conducting so we know that non conducting means the conductivity of the medium sigma is equal to zero so a symbol medium means a linear isotropic and homogeneous medium so a symbol medium means linear homogeneous and isotropic so linear means it obey the linear equations uh, d equal to epsilon e and h is equal to b by mu ഇവിടെ എപ്സലോണും മ്യൂ ഒക്കെ സ്കെയിലേഴ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും ലീനിയർ മീഡിയത്തിൽ നോൺ ലീനിയർ മീഡിയം ആകുമ്പോൾ അതെല്ലാം ടെൻസേഴ്സ് ആയിരിക്കും ഹോമോജീനസ് മീൻ പെർമിറ്റിവിറ്റി എപ്സലോൺ ആൻഡ് ദി പെർമിയബിലിറ്റി മ്യൂ ആർ കോൺസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് ത്രൂ ഔട്ട് ദി മീഡിയം ആൻഡ് ഐസോട്രോപ്പിക് ഐസോട്രോപ്പിക് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ലീനിയർ പോലെ തന്നെ വരുന്ന പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ആർ സെയിം ഇൻ ഓൾ ഡിറക്ഷൻസ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് സെയിം ആകുമ്പോൾ നമുക്കറിയാം എപ്സലോൺ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സ്കെയിലാറായിരിക്കും മ്യൂ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സ്കെയിലാറായിരിക്കും എൻ ഐസോട്രോപ്പിക് മീഡിയം ആകുമ്പോഴാണ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ആർ ഇൻ different in uh, different directions and therefore we have to represent the epsilon mu etc by tensors so they will not obey the linear equations d equal to epsilon e and h is equal to b by mu are linear equations since epsilon and mu are scalar so equation namaku plot cheyidu kanju straight lines aanu kittu so we call it as a linear equation but in in an isotropic media this epsilon and mu will not be scalars they are tensors instead so uh, if they are tensors uh, we will not get a straight line for this equations they will be non linear also so so here we are considering a simple non conducting source free medium so uh, sigma is already zero and uh, we have seen that since they are source free rho equal to j equal to zero so the corresponding maxwell equations can be given as del cross e is equal to minus do b by do t so since this is uh, linear this can be written as uh, del cross e is equal to minus mu do h by do t so h is equal to uh, b by mu and uh, b is equal to mu times h for a linear case and uh, del cross h is equal to j is 0 uh, do d by do t alone which is which can be written as del cross h is equal to epsilon do e by do t and del dot e is rho by epsilon rho is zero here which is zero and del dot b is always zero so we can write del dot uh, mu h is equal to zero 
therefore del dot h is equal to 0. Since uh, mu and epsilon are not zeros for a medium. So we can write the four Maxwell equations for a source free medium in terms of E and H as del cross E is equal to minus mu dou H by dou T. Del cross H is equal to minus epsilon dou E by dou T. Del dot E is equal to 0 and del dot H is equal to 0. These equations are first order differential equations in two variables E and H. So, these equations can be combined to give a second order equation for E and H alone. So, for this we will take a curl of the equation number 1 here. So, taking curl of this equation number 1 we will get del cross del cross E is equal to del cross minus mu dou H by dou T. So, uh, curl of curl of a vector is gradient of divergence of a vector minus del square E equal to so, minus mu is a constant can be taken and we can change the order of this curl and the derivative with respect to time dou by dou t of del cross h. So, according to equation number 2, del cross h is equal to epsilon dou e by dou t. So, substituting we get minus mu dou by dou t of epsilon dou e by dou t. So, according to equation number 3, del dot E is equal to 0. 0 minus del square E is equal to this. And we get del square E cancelling negative on both sides is equal to mu epsilon dou square E by dou T square. Which is del square E minus mu epsilon dou square E by dou T square equal to 0. So, this is a homogeneous vector wave equation for E. So, here we know that uh, the small u, the velocity of propagation is given by 1 by root of mu epsilon. So, therefore, mu epsilon is equal to 1 over u square. So, therefore, this equation can be also written as del square E minus 1 by u square dou square E by dou t square is equal to 0. So, we already know that this is a wave equation and since this is uh, right side is 0, this is a homogeneous wave equation. So, so, this is a wave equation for E. This is called a homogeneous vector wave equation for E. So, similarly, taking curl on both sides of equation number 2, we get del cross del cross h is equal to del cross epsilon dou E by dou T and del cross del cross h is gradient of del dot h minus del square h. So, epsilon can be taken and uh, the derivative and del, uh, del cross operator can be interchanged. So, del cross E. So, del cross E can be substituted from equation number 1. And from equation number 4, this del dot h is 0. 0 minus del square h is equal to epsilon dou by dou t of del cross E. Del cross E is minus mu dou h by dou t from equation number 1. So, we have... Um, minus uh, del square h is equal to uh, minus mu epsilon uh, dou square h by dou t square cancelling negatives on both sides we will get del square h minus mu epsilon dou square h by dou t square is equal to 0 which can be also written as del square h minus 1 over u square into dou square h by dou t square equal to 0 where u is the velocity of propagation of the wave which is equal to 1 by root mu epsilon. So, this equation is called homogeneous vector wave equation for h. So, this is homogeneous since the right side of this equation is 0 and this is an equation for h which is a vector quantity. And this is a wave equation. So, this is a homogeneous vector wave equation for H. 
so every vector equation is equivalent to three scalar equations so in cartesian coordinates we get uh, equation for hx hy hz and similarly uh, from the homogeneous vector wave equation for e we can get three scalar equations for ex ey and ez so now we can say that each of this vector wave equation can be decomposed into three one dimensional homogeneous scalar wave equations so we know that the solutions of the wave equation always represent waves uh, so uh, uh, since they are one dimensional it is easy to solve this uh, equations and uh, therefore we can directly find e and h for source free media so uh, source free media that is electromagnetic in the waves in the propagation matra and number consider in the angular rho um j um zero i to the other electromagnetic is originating at the sources and now uh, when they are propagating uh, so uh, in the region where they are propagating there are no sources and we can uh, write the uh, source free maxwell equations and from that uh, we can directly get the source free wave equations so solving the source free wave equations uh, the equation for h and e are directly obtained so once h and e are known the corresponding b and d can be easily found out using the linear equations b is equal to mu h and d is equal to epsilon e so source free medium we have to uh, potentials non homogeneous wave equation for scalar and uh, vector potentials we can directly write the homogeneous vector wave equation for e and h so the solutions of them are uh, the waves traveling with a particular velocity u and uh, from solving that we get the value of h and e and from that we can get the values of b and t so the velocity the velocity of propagation here is uh, v is u is equal to 1 by root of mu epsilon so uh, for free space this is equal to uh, 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0 but this is nothing but the velocity of light so in a particular medium u is equal to we know that mu equal to mu 0 into mu r where mu r is the relative uh, permeability of that medium and epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 epsilon r so in a medium you can be written as 1 by root of mu 0 mu r epsilon 0 epsilon r so which is 1 by root of mu 0 epsilon 0 into 1 by root of mu r into epsilon r so 1 by root of mu 0 into epsilon 0 is nothing but the velocity c of uh, the electromagnetic wave in free space so c divided by root of mu r epsilon r so we know that um, the velocity of a wave in a particular medium is c divided by the refractive index of the medium so from this we can assume that n is equal to root of mu r into epsilon r and uh, refractive index is nothing but the uh, refractive index of the medium as the ratio of velocity of light in free space to the velocity of light in that medium so uh, if we are concerned with the propagation of the electromagnetic waves rather than, than their generation we can use the uh, homogeneous wave equation for uh, e and h directly since uh, for propagation we are not considering the sources and we are using the source free wave equations okay thank you